Hi there, I'm Jessica York in the Dish Studio. You know, if I was going to run away from home, I know exactly which home I'd run to. I just spent a day on set with Hallmark Channel's daily series, Home and Family. Now the set is in Los Angeles, but it's not on a soundstage. It's an actual house built on the Universal Studios lot. And every day, 52 weeks a year, Mark Steinis and Debbie Matinopoulos and the Home and Family family throw a two-hour party where they explore food and crafts and parenting and health and everything you need to know for your home and your family. I'll take you to the home in just a moment. Now, Hallmark Channel is channel 185 on DISH, and if you don't have it, the easiest way to add it is through the Heartland package. Heartland is 11 family-friendly channels like Hallmark and Hallmark Movies and Mysteries for one low price. To add Hallmark and Heartland, just give us a call. Our number is 1-800-333-3474. That's 1-800-333-DISH. Or you can check it out at mydish.com slash heartland. Home and Family starts season number six this month, five shows a week, 52 weeks a year. And this one day, very recently, they let me come in the front door. Oh, hi. We're here at the Hallmark Home and Family house. I was just seeing if Mark and Debbie are inside. This is on the Universal lot. It's so crazy. Harry Potter is literally right over there. Jaws is right over there. There's like a Western town. Cloud Nine is shot here. Wisteria Lane's right behind us. And unlike on Wisteria Lane, this is an actual house. So we could like move in, which we're totally going to. regular house, this would be the garage, but at the home and family house, this is the prep kitchen and this is where they pre-make everything so that on TV, when it's live, it all looks seamless. And it smells amazing in here. What are what are we cooking today? Today we are doing a seafood pasta with some mussels and clams and some onions and Riesling and pepperdelli pasta. You know, and then, yeah, something, something easy, and whipping then, it up. Yeah, and then something that goes with it perfectly is a rainbow fudge. Rainbow yeah. fudge. This looks just like my dad's garage. I'm gonna go grill Mark and Debbie with questions. Oh, looks like we found the brains of the show. They've been prepping all morning. It's about an hour before the show. And just like a real house, you've got your laundry room, your living room, your kitchen, your dining room, your bedroom. But unlike a real house, you look up and look at all those lights, cameras, microphones. And that, folks, is how TV magic is made. Seven, six to sound. Four to sound. Three. Today on Home and Family, some freaks actress Lily Mae Harrington, Sharknado. Lovely. Season what? 96. Six. It feels like 96, <laughs> doesn't it? 52 yeah. weeks. Who gets to say that? Though? I know. I know. Season I mean, six it happens this... all the time in TV. Like, right, all yeah. the time. You always hear Almost somebody talking. always never. Right, yes. Yeah. But congratulations, because wow. six seasons in television, that is not easy. No, Let's it doesn't happen. You it really, really never hear someone say, we got a six season. You know why I think, though, I, there's a lot of reasons why we could sit here and speculate. One of the things that I love about this show, whether or not it's why we have six seasons or not, is that we're different. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of talk shows out there and they're kind of cookie cutters. Yeah. And this show, people come on and they're like, wow, you, this is really cool. They come in a home and the cameras all move around. There's not a, this isn't a, this isn't a set. set. It it's is a real, a real house. home. And that alone has a unique characteristic to it. But also, um, we kind of talked about this. There's, there's not even fire, let alone friendly fire. We, this is such a fun yes. show to do. It is so fun. I don't want to leave. Is this it okay? Yeah. You can stay. I, I brought my slippers. I'm yeah, gonna, that's you should. what happens. That's why our family keeps growing. Because people literally, like you said, guests will come. They won't know what the show is. They'll be booked be, from some big publicist because their show is about to premiere. And they oh, and they come and to the they, show and they tell all their friends. Yeah. And so and that's the whole just cast comes and then back. everybody comes. I mean, the, the look on their face, though, you can just see at the start of the show, they're sitting here watching. They're going, what is going What's on happening? here? And by the end of it, they think this is the best show on television. Yeah. And I, Mark has done so much in his career, as have I. And I will tell you, from a person who has worked inside 
on the show and on many other shows, this is the best show on TV. There's something for everybody. If you like to DIY, you, you'll tune in for that. If you like cooking, you'll tune in for that. If you like fun, you'll tune in for that because we have games. We have so many like home improvements. We have educational um, segments. Like Mark will do something about photography. Um, we have inspirational segments. We have segments about getting older and needing life insurance. It truly covers the gamut of anything a person would need there's, in their life. There is there is one sign that hangs out front and it explains this whole show. Live, laugh, learn. <laughs> Do you have leftover scrap wood from all those projects you've been doing? I'm gonna show you how to turn them into great holiday Christmas trees. <laughs> also in our kitchen today, Chef Quithia Thomas is here. We got here early today and we saw the run through mm. and it's, you know, just there's so much chaos, but it seems very organized. Mm -hmm. Run us through how this show rolls out 52 weeks a year, five days a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It's a controlled chaos. It's a very well oiled machine. We get here um, for hair and makeup at any temp time before, between seven and eight. We start a card read at nine or nine thirty and that goes through until. 10, and that's where all the producers sit down and they've done all their, their segments the night before and we go through and see, does this segment flow with that segment? Does that make mm -hmm. sense? We, should we really ask that question? Because I feel like she's already gonna answer that, so mm -hmm. get rid of that. So it's where you really iron out all the kinks and then it's we hit the ground running because we're in rehearsals. Like you that's saw, we were really blocking. The rehearsals are really for this, for the, more so for the directors and the camera guys to go. Okay, you're gonna reach for this here, and then we're gonna do. Shirley's gonna put the cactus down here, and then we're gonna cook and we're gonna this, the video and this. And so it's really staging all of that because we don't like to over rehearse because of, it's on. We leave it on the floor, mm -hmm. and that's so, yeah. why that's one of the things that I love about the show is you got to stay in the moment. Mm -hmm. You can't be thinking about a se you know segment no. seven when you're in two. You have to be there with your guests, be present, be present with them, and really listening because what they say will probably come mm -hmm. up later on mm -hmm. in somebody else's segment. And that's but. why it's so important that we do that card read at the beginning because you don't want to be thinking about, oh, what's next? Because I already know now. I already yeah. know what's going to happen. And again, I don't know if you've noticed this, but they don't give you a second take. This is live <laughs> to take. Yes, and, yeah. and, and sometimes you have anchorman moments <laughs> where it's nobody's fault. The producer didn't try to put the wrong copy up, but it was there. And then you say something that doesn't have a verb in it, and you go to break. <laughs> yeah. And you think, I am Ron Burgundy. Burgundy. Right. Did I say that? And you're like, okay, I'm wrong. Today I'm Ron Burgundy. Yeah. yeah. And I look at Mark yeah. and I say, did I? Uh -huh. Did, I think I may have just had a stroke. Yeah. <laughs> of genius. Oh! Awesome. See, she could stay. She could, she could stay. stay. Yes. Can we keep her? She, Can we see, keep you're, her? You're up with the puns. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, well, you know, um, 21 pun salute right here. There you go. <laughs> yes. We're going to keep her. See, you, became, you were here at home. Yes. Now you're family. Do you mind if I move into the room next door? No, well, The room next door is the bathroom, okay. so you don't want to move yeah. in there. Well, you know, I spent a lot of time <laughs> in there. You know, I did not wake up like this. <laughs> Shani. You also have how many guests per show? Because I was trying to keep count and I was like, okay, I think we've passed 12. Like, That's, yeah. well, yes. At the end of the actually. show, it's like you guys need a bigger family room. Right. Yeah, I do. know. But you know what? There's a, there's a lot of recurring family member that come, come members right. that come back and contribute to the show. Day in, whether it's Orly or it's Ken or it's Paige. Paige or Kim um, or Sophie, yeah. Shirley, JJ. We have those experts. Um, but then, you know, we have you know, our celebrity guests that come in or other specialists that come in and help us guide us through. I'm always learning. I am always learning. The segment we did about backpacks or, you know, how you're back, you know, sitting in a desk day in and day out. Like all of that, all of that stuff. It's so, all of that stuff is important. So there's such takeaway. information. That's the, I think we want to live, laugh and learn and we want to really give the viewer helpful information. It's not just fluff. Yeah. You know, we, we brighten it up and we make it more interesting and we have a, a a uh, family member on the show named Dan Kohler, who is, when I tell you, probably one of the smartest human beings on this planet, I don't think I'm exaggerating. Uh, He's yeah. so above and beyond that even just speaking to him, you feel kind of a little dumb. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't I mean to make you feel you like feel that. Dumb. Yeah, well, he doesn't have a lot of information. Yeah. Right, however, he presents it in such a, we call him our, um, our kitchen scientist, he presents it in such an interesting way that you want to learn and hear what this man is saying. Mm -hmm. And I'd said, if I had a science teacher like that, I would have aced every yeah. single test I ever took in science class. But because I, he we, was also, a lot of people don't, he was a blue man. Yeah, he was blue a blue man, man group. group. I love blue man So groups. he yeah. has that interesting twist on the world and the look at things differently, as we all should, because it keeps us mm -hmm. curious. Mm -hmm. And that's how we present information to people. So it's information that we need mm -hmm. 
just to live like a healthy and a good life, and that's what we try to hope that we can give our viewers, but it's also entertaining. Mm -hmm. It's infotainment. Welcome back, everybody. Get ready for us to be ashamed a little bit, and it's all right because you're helping us. I'm here to shame you. Is your, yeah. But you're also helping oh, us. It's pantry yeah. shame. Is it, it a is. little bit. It's that time of year where kids are going back to school, so why not get the whole family on a healthier track? And here to show us healthy alternatives to some of the pesky foods that might be in your pantry right now is nutritionist Alexandra Catalano. Welcome, Hi. Alexandra. Hi. So you do something, you have a service that actually does a one hour pantry cleanse. So what Alexandra's service does is she um, enters your home. I do. She yeah. opens the pantry, she shames you and throws all of that stuff away like that weakness, that weak moment where you may have bought some Cheetos, I don't know. <laughs> she throws them away and she replaces everything with really nice stuff that you will also enjoy that is satiating. Don't you do that? Okay. I do, I do yeah. that. And I think it's a really great way to kind of like set yourself up and your family up for success. And that way there's never like you open your cabinet and you can't make a bad decision because I'm setting you up to make Good decisions so she's all the doing time. it right Infotainment. Here, right I, I like to think of it as like your favorite magazine come to life. Yes. Like all those things that, that you can pull and use. Right. You'll literally be smarter if you watch this show. I think. Um, you'll be I think it's more, more smarter. smarter. Oh, yeah. you're right. Thank you for yeah. correcting me. Two brain, one, one, one brain, two, two people. Bit, two people, yeah. That's yeah, it's it two people. Okay. Now, one one brain. brain. That's how it works. How do you guys? That's what happens when you work with someone so closely, 52 <laughs> weeks a year. I mean, honestly, I'll say something and they'll say, I was just going to say that. Or he'll just... say something and I'll go, I was just going to say that. And I think you get in a rhythm <laughs> and the chemistry with somebody. I honestly, I, I don't have to finish half of my sentences because he does, which makes it like you're working yeah. just 26 weeks, really. Right. Yeah. Well, and it's a shame you guys don't get along better. <laughs> Work half the time. That's right. I don't show up half the time. I don't it. doesn't matter. It. Right, well, I mean, you have such a big family. She can throw, I mean, she can throw her fine. voice. I can throw my voice. Right. Boom. <laughs> Now, was mind. the chemistry just instant with you guys, or? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we've known okay. each other a, a really long, long, long time. time. But we've never really worked together. No. But, uh, but as soon as it started to happen, it takes... Anytime you're running a show with this many moving parts, it takes a little bit to sync up. It happened really, really quickly. Very quickly. Yeah. And when it did, because he was at Entertainment Tonight for so many years, I've been at The Insider for so many years, and more sister shows. So we always worked parallel, but never together. And we've known each other socially. It's not brother shows. Why is it sister shows? What's because a that? ship is also a woman. Why does it have to be a male? I mean, I don't know. I think uh, certain things are female and others are male. I don't like uh, brother shows. <laughs> brotherly but, love. We could go with okay, that. Okay, you can. Why is it not sisterly love? Because you ever see two sisters, they, it's a cat fight. Oh, really? Why is Philadelphia the city of brotherly love and not sisterly love? Why do you have so many questions? <laughs> <laughs> love it, love Sorry, it. you don't need so to be here right now. Right now, right now I'm like, we'll, you're we'll making my job time. very easy. I feel like this is one of the reasons why you guys have been nominated for multiple have, Emmys yes. over the years. I also saw something on your wall that I'm wondering, is this legitimate? Yeah, Those I have I have Guinness broken Guinness. World? World yes. Records. Ending on a high note, we are going to break a world record here. Debbie is going to do it. You ready for this? I, I've never been so nervous for something in my life, which is a little odd. Fastest yeah. time in, to dress in a Santa costume. That is what she's attempting. Michael, what is the current record? The current record is 34.14 seconds. That's held by Andre Ortloff in Germany, December last year. And what are the rules? What I need, seven pieces of clothing. That's boots, pants, belt. Santa Beard, okay. hands up to stop the clock. Okay, and you have it from there. Debbie, <laughs> eyes on, ready? Yeah. We got support in the audience. Michael, on, I'll have yeah. it. Yeah. Count it down. Yeah. Debbie, are you ready? I think so. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Yes, go, 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 go. Come on, Debbie, no, go, go, go. All right, don't worry, it's all right. You got this, you got this. You got this. Ten seconds. Come on. You're all right. You're all right. You're good. Get the hat. Twenty seconds, Debbie. Twenty seconds. Okay. It's all right. Twenty-five seconds. Twenty-five. Go, 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 go. Someone, come on, Mrs. Claus. Stop, <laughs> Debbie. That was thirty-three seconds. It's a new. Game. And I beat a guy from Germany, and he has since been um, informed 
So he is trying to break my record as we speak. Exactly. Nine. 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 So I think by Christmas time, old Saint Nick may have his record back. But you know what? For right now. But here's the real question. Are you in training? (laughs) Oh, yeah. I still, I'm training to beat him back. But the two mats. How about the two mats? One of them won for um, putting on the most amount of sweaters possible in 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the other two won for. How many times they could catch a ball back and forth? A baseball. Mm hmm. I had no idea that these were even records to be had. Yeah. Well, you just need to call the Guinness Book people, and when you call Guinness and you tell them you would like to make something up and break a record, they usually say, okay. Oh, it's that's a, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Insider <laughs> tip, see? You're going to be more smarter you after are, you watch uh, this segment. See, you're catching them. Yes. Up. She's yeah. a smart one. Caught it. That. Well, I've been watching your show. Okay. We'll take you back to the Home and Family home in just a minute. Now, Home and Family is all new 52 weeks a year, only on Hallmark Channel. That's channel 185 on Dish. So many shows, you might have missed a couple, and we can help you out with that. When you're at home, you can see past episodes with Hallmark On Demand. And when you're on the go, you can watch the best of Hallmark Channel with Dish Anywhere. Now, the easiest way to add Hallmark is through the Heartland package. Check it out at mydish.com heartland. And now back to my very special day at the Home and Family Home. I know there's a guitar in your hand and there's a story behind the song that you're going to play for us. There is, yeah. The song is called Body of Water and um, kind of came to me in the last couple months when everything having to do with this weight loss has come to a head for me. And um, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that and just play away. Let's hear it. All right. Two, three, four. Can I ask you something? Something I can't get off my mind. The musical guests, in my opinion, are one of the greatest things because it really brings the show to um, sort of like a little bit of a halt. And everybody kind of sits back and watches these amazing performers perform. And we've had so many great ones out on the big deck uh, in the last six seasons. And then just today, like Lily Mae Harrington. She's here for her film that she's in. We noticed that she was playing the piano in her movie, and one of the producers said, was that really you? She said, yeah, and I'm a musician. We said, bring your guitar. So she just got to sit in the living room and play us out of the show, and that was a really wonderful sort of heartfelt moment that I think kind of brings us all back around, because this the show goes like this. It's not mm-hmm. just funny. It's not just quirky. It's not just informational. It also can get you choked up at times. I shed a tear today when um, that woman was talking about escaping and, Albania. Yeah, Albania, and going yeah. to the, hung, uh, the Hungarian embassy. You know, your story of how you and your mother actually got to America is so inspiring and it, it's so amazing. You were just a little girl in Albania when your mother and you fled a, a communist country. Tell us what happened. We were refugees. I was five years old, so I can't take too much credit for the courageousness of my mother, but she absolutely had a dream. She wanted to leave America. She wanted to leave for America, and for her to have that dream is to say, I want to live on the moon. It's absolutely impossible. That's my oh mom, Daniela. Oh, oh, wow. And uh, we shared one shadow our whole life. She's my best oh. friend to this day. And she, that was that one unwavering dream, and I just followed her. How did you, how did you, how, how did, did it you happen? Through? How are you leaving a communist country? That's she not easy. She bent some rules along the way. I she, think you have to. <laughs> so for the very first time in history, in Albanian history, they opened up the embassy, the Hungarian embassy. And figuratively, the doors were open, but really they had guards posted at the gates. And my mom had me in her arm. She still had that one dream. And she went up to the gate, and she actually had crutches that day. And uh, she pointed to the, another guard. She, she told this guard, she said, by the way, I think this, this other guard needs your attention. He's calling you, isn't he? Do you see him? And then so the guard turned to look, and she ran inside. That's, That's it. That's it. That's how you got That's Because then got you're through. protected. We're protected by yep. the Hungarian embassy. Then they can't. That's true. Oh. Wow. So there was only one way ticket out now. Now it was through this bus, and um, the bus was being threatened with a bombing because you know we were now traitors of our country. Yeah. Because how could you leave our country? It was you know oh communism, and we had the American Red Cross, the volunteers who posted themselves in the bus by the window as we drove to Hungary. Wow, your mom is a hero. She's incredible. Let me tell you something. Your slang sharks is kid. nothing next Eddie to what your mom just Eddie. said. Shark I asked for advice for shark slang. Yeah, she's, she's amazing. <laughs> I know to think, I think a of a story. mother who's there trying to distract a guard mm. yes. because she knows just across that line, that threshold, is freedom for her mm. and her right. daughter. On crutches. Yeah, on mm-hmm. crutches, no doubt. I mean, and we find those stories here 
We've had people who've come here that have written books because they've died and they've mm -hmm. been brought back from on the other mm -hmm. side, and they share that story, and you just sit here. I, I, I started doing this, um, I think, since season one, and you don't have it in every show, but I like to award people with their, their the heart of the show award because they, they'll, you'll hear me say this every day, you know what, y your segment, you were the heart of our show today. Mm -hmm. Because they brought something that brought that, brought that show to this real level mm -hmm. where so many people can relate or be enlightened by. Mm -hmm. And that to me is where, you know, it's why Hallmark is called the heart of television. Mm -hmm. They're the heart of our show. Yeah, and you find that in places that you wouldn't necessarily think you'd find it. For instance, she's this great actress. She was on the George Lopez show for years, but since she was a little kid. And now she's in these the series of films called Sharknado. Yeah. So, you know, on the surface, if this were another television show, they're probably not gonna have the time or even the interest to really delve in and ask her about her. Mm -hmm. They're gonna ask about Sharknado and about George Lopez. But we have the, the, the real estate, the real basic, estate to yeah. do it, and In a two -hour the show. opportunity to be able to sit back and really let the segments breathe and really get to know the person. And I think that's another reason that that the guests do like coming here because, again, this is all just nice and kind, and we just want to be your friend. And then you get to play, and then you get to eat, and you really get to be you. And it's not just about. You're the reason you're here to promote something. Right, right. It's not a hard sell all mm -hmm. the time. Yeah. So did she win today's heart of the show? Absolutely. Oh, for yeah. sure. Well, but, but so did Lily, Lily Mae Harrington. That song yeah. too at the end was so touching. Mm -hmm. They have to split the heart. Story too. They have now it's a broken now heart. Now it's a broken oh, heart. It. Now what? Now we broke somebody's heart on the show. We, we Why would we do that? We hearts. don't mean to, but now we've oh, broken gosh. hearts. Well. Um, one thing I must say though that what I what I think is really in, interesting to do because when you're carrying around the Hallmark brand, mm -hmm. as we do, we try to live a Hallmark life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like we really do. We want it to be a signature, if you will. We want it to represent, if you were to grow up in this sort of family, in this environment, um, the sort of morals and values and your moral compass mm -hmm. and how you would direct that. And that's like when we go back to saying, you know, this is, this is a fun space. It's a guarded space. We'll only, you know, talk with people about things that, you know, we're not going to ambush anybody because mm -hmm. that television, we, you know, we've been there, we've been around mm -hmm. it, and it's not fun to do. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk with people about the things that really interest them, whether it's jumping off of the stratosphere, or whatever, in oh, Vegas, and doing the, or writing songs that move them. That to me is what a Hallmark sort of brand is. Right. And I just, I don't think, I, I think there's less and less place in the market for programs like that. Mm -hmm. Like, there's mm -hmm. enough anguish and enough hurt and enough ugliness. I don't want to add to it. Right. Yeah. And I'm I, no interested in it. None. At all. And I feel like that is why Hallmark has gotten so strong. I mean, they're adding another network. Mm -hmm. um, even when, you know, you guys can take all the credit for it if you want. Like five years ago, they were in a different place than they are now. It's yeah. like I mean, been it's a growing steady, so quickly. straight up. And we can't even pretend to take credit. I know. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> we I wish we could. It's a 100-year-old <laughs> brand. I yeah. think they were doing pretty well without <laughs> us before. We're just happy and, and honored, yeah. actually, and privileged to be part, part of their of brand. Yeah. Right, but I think people really love coming here for it because they know it's, it's gonna be positive. They they are going to learn something. It's going to be fun and happy and healthy, yeah. and their you know their kids can watch. You never have to do the earmuffs. Yeah, you, know, right. you never have to uh, on our show. So, no, we're always present. We're always aware. In fact, we love it when kids are on the show. Debbie's mm -hmm. daughter comes around. Yeah. Sometimes she's on the she show. Was here if not, today. she's just running down the hall. And I didn't see you her. didn't see her. Yeah. She was running around here today. Oh, too cute. Yeah. I was too. I was too occupied by the kittens that you had here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the food. Do you see yeah. why people love it here? <laughs> yeah. It's so much fun. I um. You guys do a great job. I'm super Thanks. jealous as a TV person because I think that this looks like one of the best jobs in town. It is the best job in town, not one yeah. of them. It is the it best is. job. Mm -hmm. I, I am so happy and so honored to be working here. It's so much fun. Yeah, you can really come play is. whenever you want. Yes. Yay. Come back. You know, by the way, you look around and you would said, you know, I love the paint color. I would say 90% of the things you see in this room right now have been DIY'd or somehow yeah. made. I mean, from the Those doors, changing the color of this. That the, there, the one, the things hanging behind you, we completely everything redid this whole room on the show. We I said we it. need a, a makeover, so we did. We actually redid the whole house. The whole house. That um, back there, the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Ken terrarium. Yes. Yeah. The terrarium, Ken did that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's great. We've on everything. 
Yeah, it's um, it's it feels very legitimate, honest, true, and true to what you would expect from Hallmark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for letting thank me come you. in. Thank you. Sure. And um, absolutely. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Absolutely. Nobody, Bright and early, seven a.m. is when we should make up. You should know. Nobody leaves here empty-handed. When everybody comes, they get we something. like to give a piece. Uh, that leave the piece of them with us, and we like to. We're like, oh, make sure oh you this take... coffee table? Oh. No. Oh, just really? Thank you. I thought I was going to, I was just going to bring it back you. and I was going to give you okay, lamp. Thank you. Yeah. Because awesome. you know what? Okay, you know what? I could, nice too, just perfect. To thank you. But you know so what? I, I, you know what I'm giving her this? Why? Because I love lamp. And nobody loves lamp better than Ron Burgundy. <laughs> you guys are so bright. Thank you so much. <laughs> so bright. Hey, are you throwing shade? <laughs> oh my God, stop it. Oh my goodness. Home and Family is new every weekday on Hallmark Channel. That's channel 185 on Dish. Now if you don't have Hallmark Channel, the easiest way to add it is through the Heartland package. Heartland is 11 family friendly channels like Hallmark and Hallmark Movies and Mysteries for one low price. To add Hallmark and Heartland, just give us a call. Our number is 1-800-333-3474. That's 1-800-333-DISH. Or you can check it out at mydish.com slash heartland. You know, we shoot a lot of behind the scenes shows. This was one of the best production teams ever. Our thanks to Mark and Debbie and everyone at Home and Family. Thanks for making us feel like a real part of the family. Now don't miss the brand new season number six of Home and Family every weekday on channel 185. In the Dish Studio, I'm Jessica York. And I'm feeling a little homesick.